Department of Artificial Intelligence and Human Inter Interfaces at the University of Salzburg. Furthermore, we have Universitätsdozent Dr. Siegfried Reich on board. He is Managing Director and Head of Research from Salzburg Research. Then Dr. Alexander Kollmann, uh, he is Head of eHealth and Telemedicine from the University Hospital Salzburg and eHealth Representative from the State of Salzburg. And last but not least, we have Lisa Schiefer. She, she is Manager of life science of the life sciences ecosystem at Innovation Salzburg GmbH. So thank you very much for joining our symposium and giving us some partner perspectives. So each one will last around 10 minutes and we will, will once again collect all the questions for a final Q&A session at the end of this slot. So we now hand over to Professor Bartke. The floor is yours. Thank you for joining. Thanks a lot, Andy. Um, it's great to be here at this symposium. Congratulations on putting this together. Also, of course, to, to Jan and uh, to Josef for this great program that I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, we're one of the partners, the University of Salzburg, the Paris Lodrun, Lodrun University of Salzburg. And uh, as I was putting together this presentation, I was having some chats with our other uh, colleagues from the university who are involved. And I have mentioned Jens and Alexander here and, and Manfred on the slide who have also shared their input. So who are we? For those who are from the outside who don't know Salzburg, so we are the biggest university or the biggest educational and research institution in town, founded 400 years ago. And that's where the name comes from. Paris Lodron was the founder and Many people just say it's the University of Salzburg, which is also fine, of course. We have a little less than 20,000 students, a little less than 3,000 employees, about 30 study programs. We now have six faculties, and I do represent one of the faculties and or colleges in, in some countries, and I will talk a little bit about that faculty or that college. We also, as a university, we have four guiding principles, and um, they kind of related to the topics of the LBI. One of the guiding principles is uh, concerned with digital life and another one with health and mind, and they all kind of go together. So specifically regarding the faculty, the college that I have the honor to represent, the Faculty of Digital and Analytical Sciences with the abbreviation DAS, we have four departments in there. And also the first one is a newly founded one, the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Human Interfaces. And this is one of the departments that is a strong partner here in the LBI. Also, we have geoinformatics, which, which is becoming involved in the LBA, LBI process and in, in the work. And we have computer science and mathematics as part of our faculty. And so this is sort of just the structure. You know, every, every professor is a member of one of these departments. We also have some strategic initiatives that are more interdisciplinary in nature. Uh, the newest one is funded very generously by the state of Salzburg, is uh, creating really uh, intensely creating bridges very deliberately, bridges out of these departments, uh, across these departments and out of these departments to the wider uh, research network at the university bridge professorships that are currently being evaluated. We have received lots of applications and are looking at them uh, these days. And there will be a research college around the themes of our college, of our faculty. We have some initiatives to go out and get others excited, citizen science and getting youth involved, much like the open science approach that the LBI and the Ludwig Boltzmann Gesellschaft in general are following. So we have labs, sort of open labs where kids, school kids can come in and learn about the, the cool subjects that are being taught and researched at a university. With regard to the topic of everything data, everything data science, a couple of years ago, we founded the Intelligent Data Analytics Lab, Salzburg, because we had so many cooperation projects with so many companies and other research institutions that we have they had to kind of bundle them into uh, sort of institutionalize them. And also, again, there, the state of Salzburg has been instrumental in getting the, the base funding as a lever. And then there's a lot of projects on top of that. 
in in a totally different direction the salzburg center of smart materials that has to do with material science and with human computer interaction with actually building buildings that are in, in many ways smart and uh, originated by the the geoinformatics department by colleagues from there, Stefan Lang being the, the lead of that. We also have a Christian Doppler lab that has to do with using satellite data to make um, to make life in tangible ways better for people, especially for refugees and others. So lots of uh, activities that are beyond the usual traditional disciplines, which is also certainly something that is uh, uh, a trademark of, of the LBI work. Yeah, the involvement, uh, the plus involvement with the LBI, like every one of the partners who is presenting here now, uh, we are not, uh, it's sort of the LBI we started and we, we came on board. That's not the way it worked because it all, it was a joint effort getting the LBI started at all. So uh, when I look back, now we have a three year birthday, but I think the conception is more than nine months before that and uh, of that baby, uh, at least a year earlier, I think we started the talks about what we could do here in Salzburg and, and which would be the right partners to work together. And so the conception, the vision, and, and also then in the end, the, the writing of the proposal, all this was a great joint effort that, that showed the strength of this uh, of Salzburg as a, the research ecosystem in Salzburg. Initially from our uh, plus from the Paris Lutheran University, there were only the human computer interaction group and data science group involved. But then as we started, we really, we thought, uh, well, we have this great expertise uh, with Jens Blechert and his research group on um, health psychology. And it would be great to have his group involved here. So we expanded a little bit. We also changed the official contract with the LBI. And also we are uh, starting to get the geoinformatics group more involved. Then we all, the presenters, I guess we got a survey from Andy <laughs> who asked us so, um, a few questions and I will just go through them very specifically. So one of the questions was what motivates you to be an active partner? And uh, we, we all have different, uh, different reasons to be involved. The HCI groups, of course, noted that health is really an emerging and an important topic in HCI research for the health psychologists, the LBI is really an interesting partner in terms of the technology and the methodology that can only be developed jointly. And for my group, for the data science and statistics, actually both of the introductory speakers already mentioned it. Josef said, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Well, that leads to there's got to be data being collected in some ways and, and needs to be analyzed. And, and also Jan just mentioned um, this nice with a question mark, is more data, does it equal better healthcare. So how can we deal with that? We uh, we do collect data uh, around the LBI that is non-standard in terms of the statistical techniques you can use. It's non-standard. That means you do need state of the art or even newly to be developed statistical methodology, which is really exciting. And when you have these sorts of collaborations, these interdisciplinary collaborations, it needs to be fun for all partners. And it's really a lot of fun when in every one of these areas, that every one of the niches, you have open challenges and can in every one of these areas can find something new, develop something new that we also, in my research group, we presented statistical meetings while the others, the, the doctors presented at medical meetings. And that's great fun. Andy also asked um, some for some specific examples for synergies and for cooperation. And really a big one is that we jointly educate young people, that we help them become great researchers, researcher teachers even. I mean, that they become peer mentors. We jointly supervise some PhD and some master's students. I'm not gonna go into the topic details. That's, I think the, topic of the next couple of days. The questions, the research questions are really motivated by the challenges that the LBI is tackling. And then we all bring in our disciplinary backgrounds and try to make, create real bridges and contribute there. And that makes it multi or inter or transdisciplinary view, however you want to use these terms. What I would like to add is um, interdisciplinarity, true interdisciplinary in my view, also requires asking the right question. Because it turns out, if I'm talking with a doctor or with a health psychologist, I'm asking my questions. It turns out 
it may be a question that cannot be answered anyways. Um, and as you talk together, you find the right, the smart questions, because asking the questions of the, the good questions is the first step in doing some really transformative research. So that's why I added this to the slide here. What do you bring to the table? Well, first of all, we all bring our time to the table and, um, and our expert knowledge, but also in addition to that, the, our graduate students from our different programs, I can talk about the data science master's program where we have here, we attract lots of cool people here internationally, and there's the HCI program, which is the only one, I think, also in, in Austria. So getting these young folks involved in the LBI topics, uh, that is exciting because it broadens then, again, the, the group of, of smart brains working on these topics that are really challenging. And then we all have our international research network and can call on people, say, hey, I got a question here and we will very specifically in a couple of weeks, we will go to Firenze for, for a major data science and statistics symposium. And we will ask some of these questions that were arising from the LBI work. And then now I'm gonna meet some of the top researchers worldwide at this conference. And, and we share some joint interest there. What do you expect from us, all the partners? Uh, no, what do you expect uh, from us in terms of from the, uh, from the LBI? How do you see the future potential? Well, even closer cooperation, growing even closer together. Now we're three years old as a functioning um, institute with all the partners. So growing even closer together over the years and then adapting on, on both sides. Also, we can adapt our curricula and uh, embed the LBI topics even more prominently in our curricula and create stronger links there. Catalyzing joint methodology development, because the questions being asked at the LBI, they spark the, some of the research being done jointly. Then very specifically jointly developing tools for uh, something called the ecological momentary assessment. Patients are repeatedly or, or people are, are repeatedly assessed. And uh, obviously more grants, writing more grants together, writing more papers together, and uh, maybe even broadening and having more disciplines as we fit. I already mentioned that the geoinformatics group, but how about ethics, how about communication, some other fields that could still be involved in the LBI, while the group overall as a, as a functional research group has to be manageable, that's for sure. And my closing slide, um, so this was again, I mentioned this with input from Jens from Health Psychology, Alexander from, and Ed Manfred from Human Computer Interaction. So thank you. Thank you, Arne Bartke. It's good to have you on board with our institute and uh, thank you for all the collaborations, not just to your department, but all the others as well. Um, yes, I, I would like to remind for Q&A. So if you have any questions, um, please type it in the Q&A chat and we will now go on with Sigi uh, Reich from Salzburg Research. We will call him in. Welcome Sigi. Uh, 